Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Ecom Insiders. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a tool that allows us to find winning print on demand designs. And honestly, it does an absolute ton of other stuff as well, like finding keywords so that you can utilize them on Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, all of them print on demand suppliers. It's honestly my first time using this. I've kind of took a quick look through it. The guys who own it reached out to me, told me to check it out. They give me a free account. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look through it today. I'm going to give you a completely honest opinion of it. We're going to see if we can find any cool products. Obviously, right now I'm on my 30 day Etsy challenge. So I'm uploading a product to Etsy every single day. So I'm always trying to find new designs that I can go ahead and upload over there. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do in this video is find a design that I can actually go ahead, create and upload today. So let's go ahead and take a look inside this app. If you enjoy the video, please do go ahead and leave a thumbs up on it and hit subscribe if you're new here. Okay, so this is what the inside of the app looks like. And you can see down the left hand side here, we have an absolute ton of different features. I'm going to be going through the ones that I think are going to be valuable to me to find winning products for Etsy or my my Shopify store and you can see here there's an absolute ton of tutorials and stuff so if you do end up jumping into this I think it's a free trial as well I'll put a link down below to that but you can go through all of these videos that explain deeply how to use each feature but the first thing that I want to go into is simply products search to see what sort of products that we can find and where these guys are actually pulling the data from is Amazon merch so if you didn't know Amazon have like a merch platform where you can go ahead and upload like t-shirt designs I think they do some other products as well but the main thing that they do is t-shirt design. So what we're going to be doing is not necessarily uploading t-shirts to Etsy. I'm mainly doing mugs right now. But what I'm going to be doing is seeing like what kind of designs are working on these t-shirts on Amazon. Amazon's the big giant out there. It's where all the sales are happening. So obviously, if it's selling well on Amazon, there's a good chance it'll also sell well on Etsy or other platforms. So this is a really good way to like find trending products in certain niches. So what I'm going to do here in this product search is search for products that have couple in it. You can see here I already did it just before the video. So it's popping up right now as well. We're going to be looking for products or designs that we can actually sell coming into Valentine's Day. That's like the next really big holiday coming up in February. Christmas is obviously before that, but right now it's a little too late stuff is starting to get delayed even on Guten right now our mugs are delayed that we're shipping out from Etsy so I'm looking on to the next big event and want to start getting uploaded getting ranked on Etsy for the products for Valentine's Day so when I search couple here you can see we've got 48 results we've got a BSR which it stands for best seller rank on Amazon and then we've got the price points of that and then the category is Amazon shirts so this is only going to show up with t-shirts I think but we can also come down here and look at long sleeve shirts sweatshirts hoodies pop sockets v next tank tops which are just other products that you can sell on amazon but as we come down here we start to get a feel for how many sales these products are getting what price points they're selling at and obviously the design so you can hover over it and see the big design here as well you can see here this is has a best seller rank of 137,000 with 19 estimated sales and that's monthly so not massive but look 19 sales a month passively without doing anything like these designs aren't even personalized so as long as you've uploaded it that's pretty much just passive income coming in if it ranks. Uh, we've got 13 estimated seals and it's gonna get lower as we go down here. So we can see here we got the wifey elf. None of these are really standing out to me right now as good designs for uh, like a mug. So let's go to page two and see if we can find anything else. So I'm not really finding anything for couples. So what I'm gonna do is come in and go for girlfriend and see if we get anything better for that. The biggest downside to this app so far with the short time that I've used it is definitely the loading times of these things. I don't know if they're going and like when you search, they're going and like pulling the data live, but it does take maybe five, 10 seconds to actually pull in the new designs or the new ideas that's coming in. You can see up here in the top right, it's just loading, please wait. And I've been waiting here for that whole time I was talking like 10 seconds or so to actually get data in. But I think it's pulling the data maybe just from either their database that they have and it's just a little bit slow um, or they're pulling it live. I'm not 100% sure, but we can see here for girlfriend, these are popping up with just one estimated seal. Obviously, I don't think that's highly accurate. We've got this one here, Star Wars, the Mandalorian logo, which is absolutely killing it. I'm not sure why it's popped up uh, right here under girlfriend, but the Mandalorian Baby Yoda, 1800 seals per month, which is pretty damn big and an estimated seals rank of 677. But I do believe this is an actual Star Wars store. Uh, obviously, you can't sell these copyrights and all of that fun stuff. Uh, but as we go down here, we might be able to find some other 
other cool designs. So what I'm noticing as I scroll down here is what's happening is they're pairing essentially two niches. So a lot of these are girlfriend combined with, you know, right down here, firefighter, girlfriend combined with a uh, tattooed girlfriend, girlfriend combined with pregnancy. So funny, you know, be nice to me. My girlfriend is pregnant. That's obviously that's for a man. Man's I do what I want when I want where I want, except when I ask my girlfriend. So these are funny shirts. These would obviously work well at Christmas time and they probably work well as like Valentine's presents that either boys are going to buy for their girlfriend or girls are going to buy for their boyfriend. I do like these ones that are I love my firefighter ones. So I like combining like a job niche with a sort of different niche such as, you know, girlfriends or couples, partners, whatever. What I do like is really these ones where they're combining it with jobs. And you don't have to do this with just like girlfriends or boyfriends. You could also do this with different relationships. So you could do I love my firefighter dad. I love my firefighter mom. And these are just like a way to scale horizontally with a t-shirt. Like if you find one that does well, that's I love my firefighter girlfriend t-shirt. You could use the same design, but change girlfriend to dad, change girlfriend to mom, you know, to uncle, whatever it is, and expand out through that niche with designs like that. So we're not finding anything here that is huge, huge estimated seals on it, but it could definitely spark some ideas in my head for designs that we're looking for. But right now I'm not seeing anything that I would actually use on Etsy right now. So let's go ahead and move over to some of these other tools down here on the left hand side to see if there's anything else that we can find. I think one that will be interesting is definitely this trend hunter down here. So what I'm gonna do is go to movers and shakers, and this is gonna show us daily the movers and checkers today right so these are products that have went from being in a you know a higher best seller rank and have dropped down drastically over the last couple of days essentially because they rank better and they're getting more sales but it means that they're selling so we can see here like the best seller rank this one kind of was slowly rising up in around four million obviously exploded on this day right here and right down to 785,000. And then it just went down right here to 500,000 most recently. 1895, the estimated seal is just one seal. I do believe that is per month. So I kind of like this one here is my bike okay because obviously this guy's fell off his bike and he's upside down you're reading it funny so it's kind of a funny bike t-shirt uh we've got this one here love thy neighbor so obviously you know that's going through if we click on open image and new tab you know love all of these different neighbors so that's kind of a cool t-shirt maybe to sell in kind of the christianity niche i would imagine uh but again not getting that many seals right here what i'm going to do is fire it up for the last week and see if that gives us any better kind of uh sellers right here so now we're getting in we got seven estimated seals on this we woo boo boo bus so that sounds like uh what is that paramedic shirts for women and gifts so this is obviously a gift for paramedics for people who drive ambulances again it's going into that job niche and selling it to different jobs you can just expand this out to hundreds of different jobs right here we've got future scientist again that's moving up in the ranks but it's only getting one estimated seal over here i'm a tow truck driver i can't fix stupid but i can tow what stupid does uh we got one estimated seal right here we've got farmers so these are all essentially job related t-shirts up there at the top over here we got add the cart i don't know who's gonna you know wear that t-shirt uh kim reynolds is the worst not sure who kim reynolds is this one here is getting around nine estimated seals german shepherd dog bikers so you combine in two niches there you could combine german shepherds with bikers which is pretty cool so now i've went ahead and changed it over to monthly and we can see we're getting a lot more estimated monthly seals so you've got to remember it's kind of when you're coming from shopify like 23 seals a month seems like nothing but on shopify you have to advertise for them seals you have to put in the work for them seals you have to you know on a lot of products do personalization on them Whereas with stuff like this, once you've uploaded this to your Etsy store, uploaded this to your Redbubble store, uploaded it to your Amazon merch store, you really don't have to look at it again. All the fulfillment's automatic and done for you, and you're just making passive income. So if you can have 10 t-shirts doing 23 sales a month, that's 230 sales per month at maybe $5 profit per t-shirt, which is what, 500, 1,000, over $1,000 per month in passive income. So you can just grow it out and scale out by volume. And that's generally what I'm looking at on players like this versus Shopify, where it was very much one product that i was trying to sell with this so we're doing a lot of products that are making a small amount of seals each right here we've got merry christmas and yes it is my birthday that's not like it seems like a very small niche but it's actually one in 365 people or whatever have their birthday on christmas day so that's kind of a funny t-shirt and it's obviously something that's very annoying uh, and i'd say they get probably a lot of these t-shirts uh, i think that's a pretty funny niche and could be something to do uh hocus pocus cv grandma elf down there so that's a cool one personalized towards grandmas again only one estimated seal there which is 
a little worrying that all of these t-shirts pretty much only get one estimated seal. I can't find anything on this app that's like absolutely crushing it. We've got here, I'm not short, I'm just a chibi. I don't know what that means. Uh, Don the con, lock them up. Uh, best granddad ever down here. Such a simple design that right here that, you know, it is making seals, not huge amounts, but it's making some seals. So let's jump into another feature and see if we can find anything a little better. One thing that I'm not liking about this app so far is I can't actually go ahead and filter. You know, I'd like to filter by best sellers or best selling rank. And right now I can't seem to do that. I'm not 100% sure if I'm just completely missing it, um, but I'd like to be able to filter by that. So that's one thing to definitely look out for. That's one kind of knock on this app at the minute. Let's go into merch tracker and see what that does. So I think that's tracking pieces of merch to see how they're currently doing. Trend Hunter, let's go to Trend Tracker and see what we've got in here. So a period over one month, average BSR, so that's kind of what we're looking for, zero to 100,000, so that's pretty high. Uh, and let's go ahead and search. So these are going to be the best selling t-shirts, I would imagine. Yeah, so you can see down here, Biden Harris 2020, over 2,000 sales a month. That is a best seller rank of 27 on Amazon, which is pretty damn insane. So we got, these are all kind of political t-shirts, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Biden Harris, they seem to be doing very well on Amazon. Uh, we got a, a, a kind of women's rights t-shirt right here doing 113 seals. Danger, no filter. So that's a very simple t-shirt. Clearly doing well here. 338 estimated seals. Retired 2020. That could be a good niche, a retirement niche. And I think that's something that I could definitely put on a mug. So what I like to do, and this is, you're kind of getting my full thought pr process here of product research. So I've seen this and I'm not going to go ahead and put that on a mug or put that design on a t-shirt. But what I am doing now is, look, I know that this clearly sells. It's getting 140 estimated seals per month. People must be retiring and people are giving them gifts when they retire. So what I'm going to do now is head over here and I'm going to go to Creative Fabrica. And this is mainly where I get all of my designs. Check it out down below, 35% discount. Uh, and what we're going to do is search for retirement on Creative Fabrica, just to see what designs we can get. Because over here uh, on Creative Fabrica, sometimes they've got just POD designs that you can actually just go ahead and use. So if we click print on demand right here, uh, winning the lottery is my retirement plans. So obviously that's one, not a great retirement plan, not something I would advocate over here on the channel. So here we're seeing like retirement camping all day, every day, retirement, I'm a cyclist, right? So you're combining two niches there again. I think that's a really good way to do print on demand is by you know going into kind of deeper, deeper into your niche. So right here, what we would do is we'd use keywords on our Etsy product. I might actually download some of these because that's super, super easy to go ahead and do. I can upload a mug in like two seconds. I can literally download this design. I don't have to go find designers, pay designers. I can just click download on this, put it on a mug on my Etsy store, optimize the title keywords for retirement and cycling and retirement and bikes, put that on a mug and we have a good retirement mug there. We know that a lot of people are retiring because of our t-shirt over here on uh, Merch Informer, right? So that's one good thing that we find from this so far. Let's scroll on down here and see if there's any other ones that we can find. We got, I do what I want. We got a little cat niche one, uh, daddy shark, do, do, do. And that is gonna be stuck in my head all day and I. So I do apologize if you, you have the same issue. But right now, definitely a lot of these best selling things are politics related. Obviously we're just out of, you know, the elections and stuff. So makes sense uh what is this one 50 years of being awesome limited edition 1970 so obviously that's like a 50 year old gift right here uh it's doing well 40 estimated seals per month we've got all of these mtv t-shirts which seem to do well this one here might actually be quite good anime is booming at the minute uh eat sleep anime repeat so we've got this little t-shirt right here with the graphic on it 1995 261 estimated sales per month. So that's something that I'm gonna note down for my Etsy store. So I know that anime is a booming niche. It's something that we should probably have some designs up there. Uh, in here, we've got another one, just job based. I work on computers uh, and it's a little funny cat one. You got the Beatles right here. So what I'm noticing as I'm scrolling through here is there's a lot of these specific like birthday t-shirts, officially a 13 quarantine. So this is obviously a quarantine based birthday t-shirt, but again, doing very well. And you can just scale that out by age, 18 quarantine, 21 quarantine, quarantine all the big birthdays you can do it and i think that might do quite well so the next thing i want to do now is go ahead let's use our keyword finder search so with this we can search up like specific keywords and see what sort of competition they're getting obviously this is on amazon and then you can also see the google search volume right here as well which is nice you can see the av estimated cost per click if you're doing pad advertising and we can see the competition right here is high 
So that's obviously for just basic retirement t-shirt, but obviously we want to go ahead and we're being more specific. However, when I searched retirement cyclist, it just gave us no results at all. So maybe there's no search volume on that at all. So another product that we recently uploaded was a baby mug or like a newborn baby mug. So we've uploaded that. Uh, we actually did get one sale on that already, which has been pretty good. So I just want to search it in here to see what like the competition is saying, how many search volume that is actually getting uh, on Amazon and on Google. So not massive. We can see here a thousand per month. I thought that would actually be way, way bigger. Uh, baby mug cup is getting some search volume on Amazon. Again, I don't know how accurate this is. Like if something's getting 1700 searches on Amazon, it's definitely getting searches on Google and it's just not appearing here. Uh, so baby announcement gifts, which is essentially what we're selling in these mugs. It's like a gift for the nanny or grandparent where you gift it to them and like announce that you're having a baby, right? So that's doing really, really well. Baby Yoda coffee mug. Baby Yoda is absolutely crushing it and I wish I could sell uh that sort of disney product but we can pretty much anything that you search with baby in it baby yoda comes up in the last kind of since the mandalorian come out let's also go ahead here and do a search for baby announcement because obviously you're going to get t-shirts for that so that might be a better search term to put in the merch informer so coming soon baby onesie announcement baby announcement gifts grandparents so that is obviously like a keyword phrase that a lot of people are searching we got a thousand here on amazon so i'm going to assume people are also searching that on etsy so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste that just into uh, a clipboard over here that I've got because I'm actually selling, you know, that product that is pretty much based around that. Obviously, our competition is high here, but we're getting seals on it. So I want to make sure we're best optimized for that. So this is a keyword or phrase that I could optimize better for over an Etsy uh, felt letter board for baby announcements. So that might be a, an interesting product right there. Announcement board seems like there's a lot of those baby announcement onesie anti grandparents baby announcement frame so we could definitely do maybe like prints or something like that which I didn't really think of uh, baby announcement shirt for mom and dad baby announcement sign for hospital boy baby announcement is just getting an absolute ton of searches over on Google uh, baby announcement onesie for dad that's pretty crazy but this is kind of useful right so we can go down here and see what is actually getting a lot of a lot of searches which right here baby announcement shirt cousin so that's definitely an interesting one that i never would have thought of but we can optimize for in our maybe our tags on etsy and also our title on etsy uh baby announcement board with letters that seems to be a huge thing uh onesie for grandpa maybe get grandpa a t-shirt he don't need to be running around in a onesie, right? Grandpa, grandparents, baby announcement mugs. So that's specifically what we're selling. So we want to be using these specific keyword phrases that people are actually searching for. So this is very, very useful uh, to go through this data and kind of look and see what is being searched. What have I optimized for? Because I might have, you know, what I would search is not what everyone else is going to search. I might have went ahead and wrote a title that was kind of biased to what I would search, but that's not what everyone's searching. But when I come in here, I can let the data tell me what most people are searching. And I do think that these numbers are probably just estimates and are probably a little lower than what people are actually, how many people are actually searching this. Let me know down in the comments if you know more about this. Again, I'm just kind of learning and getting into this whole print on demand and SEO side of things. So I may be wrong. Maybe this is super exact. But to me, I would assume that much more people are searching these phrases than we're actually seeing here uh, in this app. So I thought that was a cool feature, the keyword feature. So they've also got a feature called the competition checker right here. And you can come in here, you can add in your keyword or phrase, and then it's gonna show you kind of a grade right here. I'm not sure how that's actually rated, uh, but we've got total products online 202. Again, I, I find it very hard to believe that there's only 202 products online or on Amazon for this product. Products with BSR 182. So maybe it's just what they've got in their database. But we've got right down here, we can come down and see some pretty good designs. Right here, we got promoted to uncle, established 2021. So that's very similar to the what we've done with the nanny and the grandpa. So we could do that with uncle as well. We should probably spread out to that on Etsy. We can see that's getting 14 estimated sales per month right here, which ain't bad. Uh, we got promoted to grandpa again. So obviously for people who are having more kids, uh, we got this 2021 forecast right here. Here, dirty diapers socks we got this one right here dirty diapers socks uh sleepless nights and lots of love i like this one right here this is a pretty cool t-shirt you can stop asking when we're having a baby now it's got 23 reviews right there i'm gonna be a big sister so that could be a cool one as well so there's so many angles you can come at like this just niche from right someone has a newborn baby they'll be buying t-shirts for six seven different people to let them know that they're having a baby so i think that you know when you come in here you can see all of these different styles these different relationships i'd say probably the biggest thing from merch informer that i have got 
is the different relationships that I'm piecing together in my head that we can now go ahead and create designs for specifically. And the beauty of it is we can just create one design and then switch out the name, right? If we created a design similar to this, promoted to, you know, grandparent, promoted to nanny, you can do all of them, promoted to big sister. We can change that. All we have to do is just change that text from uncle to seven other different things. And now we've got seven different t-shirts that are now doing 14 estimated sales per month and we can grow out like that. So I thought that was a cool tool as well. So that's pretty much it for the research tools that I kind of find useful for what we do here on Etsy and potentially finding Shopify designs as well. But there's another cool feature down here, which honestly you should definitely check out. This right here is called the merch calendar. And right in here, this is gonna give you all of the different days of the year that there's events on. You've got Christmas, you've got New Year's. It's gonna give you all of them different events that you can base designs around, base your mugs around. So you can see that pretty much every day on this calendar, there's something that you could create a product around. We got Bird Day over here, we got Bean Day over here. I don't know who's celebrating Bean Day, right? Old Rock Day, Earth Rotation Day. So some of them are kind of a little bit crazy, but obviously people are really, really passionate in them niches they're probably going to be super hyped about that day and you might be able to sell them something related to it. But obviously you've got your big ones in here as well, like New Year's Eve or Christmas. Uh, here in February, we've obviously got Valentine's Day. Here in February, we should obviously have Valentine's Day, Ferris Wheel Day, Library, I don't know. They've got these weird days right here, but don't seem to have Valentine's Day, which is kind of bizarre. I don't know why that's not in here, but you've got all these other weird days that you could potentially sell stuff around. Uh, I wonder what today is. Let's take a look. Uh, December, pretend to be a time traveler day. Okay, well, we're now in the future. It's 2080, and you've created a successful print on demand business by now. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this one. I enjoyed making it for you. We found some cool ideas from Merch Informer. Uh, I might've cut out like a lot of this because it was going through it. It's definitely not the easiest tool to use. It's maybe I just have not learned it enough. Uh, let me know more down below if you think that there's other stuff that I maybe missed in this or you've used Merch Informer before and you know how to find cool stuff in here with well, there's better ways to do it. Again, I'm learning this stuff, the SEO side of things. If you enjoyed the video, please do go ahead, give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.